Hi there, Grace Bible Church. Welcome to another Grace Shepherd's Memo. It's Monday. It's a rainy day today, and I hope you're not too much like the Carpenter song, Rainy Days and Mondays Always Get Me Down. Uh, I hope that's not the case for you. I mean, the first part, talking to myself and feeling old, I mean, that might be always the case. <laughs> well, I hope that this Monday, this rainy day and this Monday is finding you well. I hope that you're, you're experiencing morning by morning new mercies uh, from the hand of God and remind, reminding yourself of those mercies. Well, yesterday, as Pastor Steve began diving into the book of Numbers in our evening service, we opened up our service by singing a beloved hymn of our church, Jesus, I, My Cross, Have Taken. Now, it's a long hymn. It's six verses long, it's the, and they're not short verses. But I have noticed every single time we sing them, people don't get tired of singing this song. It's almost seven minutes long, and yet there is a richness to the lyrical depth that is, it's, it's like mining for gold every single time. And there are new things that you can pinpoint and pull out of it. Well, that hymn comes from a difficult, from a man who, who grew up with a difficult childhood. Uh, Henry Light, when he wrote that hymn, at least the text, the, the tune came much later, I think in about 2001. Um, but the text is several hundred years old. Henry Light was was born in the late 1700s, lived till the mid 1800s. But his childhood was difficult. His father was a man who was known as a ne'er-do-well, who was more focused upon hunting and fishing and, and being alone than taking care of his kids' responsibility or the responsibilities of raising his children. And in fact, would send the, sent his kids off to boarding school and then just completely forgot to even, not forgot, neglected to, to pay for it. So the schoolmaster of, of Henry's school eventually took over the payments and adopted Henry kind of into his family, would bring him home on holiday so that Henry wouldn't have to go back to his father. His father was so out to lunch with the family that he wouldn't even, when he would send kids uh, letters, he wouldn't even sign them as their father. He'd sign them as uncle. Uh, so Henry always had this bad view of father figures, or he had the right to have a bad view of father figures. And thankfully, the gospel helped Henry understand the goodness of his heavenly father as opposed to his earthly father. And we see so many, when you when you think of Henry's relationship with his father, when we hear lines like, I have called thee, Abba, Father. I have stayed my heart on thee. There rings a new appreciation and a new hope that we have. When we consider why Henry wrote words like that, why he writes, think what spirit dwells within thee. Think what father's smiles are thine. Think that Jesus died to win thee, child of heaven. Canst thou repine? He understood God's incredible love for him. He never let his earthly father taint that view of his heavenly father. I love singing songs like this that, uh, as one uh, hymnologist writes, they, they are good lyrics help us to sing above our heads. Good lyrics help us grow and stretch. He says, in worship, we express both what we believe and feel and also what we aspire to. And as we sing songs like Jesus, I, my cross have taken, and we're reminded of those words of Jesus in, in chapter 10 of Matthew. Matthew chapter 10, when Jesus writes, sorry, I got to find it here. In verse 38, And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Jesus doesn't only just say that once as, so that he hopes they get it. Later on in chapter 16, verse 24, then Jesus said to his disciples, talking about how discipleship of following Christ is costly. He says, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross 
and follow me. Thankfully, Henry Light has left us a treasure trove in, in this hymn as well as many others. And you can look those up. He's, he's an easy search to find stuff online about him. But I find it encouraging to know that when a man so earnest as light was to, to understand the gospel and even in, in such difficulty and trial that he endured in his life among many other trials, his final recorded words that we have of his on his deathbed, the, the last two words he spoke on this earth before he went to his heavenly father were peace and joy. May that be our words as well this week. May you find peace and joy in the gospel. Have a wonderful rest of your day and a great, great week. God bless you.